Hello, and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Tunisian Thievery campaign in Europe Universe House 4. I went ahead and spent like a thousand ducats on more shipyards between episodes. That's where all the money went. My pirate fleet is uh, fighting against the Papacy's army right now, or navy right now. We can be there in a week. Send the heavies out. Okay, the fact that he tried to run is a good sign. Blockade his capital. We're just gonna separate piece him for some money again. I'm, I'm really hoping we can get up here. Look at this. The Armenian peasants versus the Persian separatists. They're fighting like crazy. Crazy bastards. Already taken Bosnia. Fifty war day siege of Rome. Next. Yeah, that's just the three siege guy too. Not even the best we have. We can raid a coast coast again in October of 1722. So that's uh end of this year. We need to go raiding everything. I think that my heavies were not fully repaired, so we might actually lose some ships here. I don't really stand to gain much by fighting this. Get out of there. Good, Merchant Slanders has expired. It's still just the same states, right? Now oh, we can make Konya into a state. That's probably a good idea. We had a claim on it, so I think it's worthwhile. Yeah, autonomy's already down to 32. It's so good. How quick is autonomy coming down? It seems like it's crazy fast. Uh, 0.2 per month, because oh, whenever we're at peace. Which is never, but still. Okay, uh, since the Papal State's army's dead, he should be much more interested in piecing out than he was last war. Still no, but close. I mean, if we're not going to do any more blockades, I could just stop repairing my ships. We lost some transports there. Derp. Go try to peace out Styria. Yeah, let's take his capital. Got uh, four participant participants. Bosnia's we already be, we've already sieged out Styria, Nitra. Nitra's uh, you up there, level three fort. I mean, you still have 33 development. You're not going to be inconsequential. Let's go siege you down. We don't want to peace out until after we settle the Armenian Rebellion. Just because I, I want to guarantee that he doesn't get broken by rebels. Our army stopped for some reason. Still no on the peace deal, despite having 27% war score. He really doesn't want to leave. Oh, hey, Genoa exists. Someone's gonna gobble them up real quick. Well, then, I mean, once again, that's what happens when you turn all your forts off. Right? We're at war with three forts active. It's fine. I was occupied by who now? Bosnia got the con got the control because they transferred it. Okay. Papal State's willing to leave. Goodbye. That just leaves... Nitro and Styria. You can take care of siege in the land back yourself. I'm just going to kill the armies. And then I'm going to march back through and I'm going to get rid of my military access. There's a truce with Oman. It's almost October. Do we... Okay, what are we doing in this war? We're eating all of Bosnia. We can't be at peace. We have to be at peace after this war so I can feed it to my client state. And again, I don't have to do it that way. I could just transfer control of it to him, which is probably simpler, actually. Means we can declare the war on Oman right now. 
He has no allies. Four siege guys, busy. Three siege guy. You are not busy. You will be sufficient to win this war, I'm I'm sure. Exactly a fortunate modifier to have, but uh, it's not going to be the end of us. Income's only at 21 ducats right now. 79 days siege is pretty good. Let's head down there. We have no military access right now. Let's piece you out then to get black flagged. I want to war reps you, money you. That's all I care about. Okay, we are allowed to march through down to here then. And over there should take care of the black flag. Hey, free stability. I haven't seen anything like that in a while. Adelon Separatists. Pissed off about something. Oh, it's time, about time to start converting stuff again. Back up to 100 piety. We don't have an Inquisitor right now. We've got the yearly inflation guy. Now how on earth... I mean, this is... Oh, it's not occupied by me. It's occupied by my vassal. Gotcha. Because that's totally different. Totally different, isn't it? Yeah. States demand control of provinces. Well, I mean, we conquered this. This is part of Sicily. We already have this as a state. You can have this. As soon as the core is done. You wait till September, okay? Mid-September. Two weeks. Look at this ridiculousness. So because I came in through Bosnia, now I'm stuck. Now I gotta go to my own land, and I can't... How, how is this possible? I can't march? Why can't I march from here to Hungary? Oh, we don't have military access to Hungary. Well, that explains it. Fine, be that way. Yeah, oops. Be a good time to maybe get rid of the forts. So let's see, uh, we have 100 prestige right now. Do we have any estates or clients or whatever that are pissed? Catalonia could use a little bit of knocking down. Just in case. Wait on our horribly slow guy here to piece us out. Papal State caught us. I gotta remember that I'm spying on the Papal State. I'm not even aware of that. 1724, we can attack Persia. We need to raid coasts now. It's October of 1722 right now. I'll send these two wars first and then we'll do it. I don't really think it's gonna make a big difference. We'll knock down your capital real quick. Anchor Bender. Alright, sure. Make an inspiring victory. Your allies are not very consequential. Everyone would defend you, but... Well, that's gonna fall eventually. Might as well take that one down. War's done. Let's give this to the Amirs. The Amirs do have some other land elsewhere I think that I can revoke now. It's gonna be nice and low on autonomy. But let's try to keep them loyal. Like, let's not take them too low. Two months away, we'll have it. If I eat all of you, is Iraq ahead or behind of Catalonia? July of 28, December of 27. Iraq is behind, so we don't want to give more land to Iraq. 
Yeah, I think we just take this ourselves. Scoring costs 306. We can afford that eventually. Can't demand that without occupying the fort. So, whatever. Okay, e December of 24 is Persia, so you guys can go up here, you guys can stay there. Start our other cores. And uh, we need to stop our military access to Persia, because we're done with that. Just need to knock out Styria, then we can end this war. And we can go raiding. Still trying to build regular shipyards primarily. And it's just about everywhere. Okay, next then is going to be grand shipyards. Which are incredibly expensive. Getting really tired of your missives, Ottomans. You realize no one cares. Ottomans are 1725. So, until these transports are done... Didn't I have 19 heavies at one point? We've lost a lot of heavies. How are you so bad at sieging? You've been here for 360 days! Look at this, 53 days, done. Derp, done. Easy. means that in one year I can take a province from the Ottomans and then I'll be able to integrate Armenia. They're gonna be out of sync, but we gotta do it. Right, finally, are you done? No, due to ongoing battles. War up some money, thank you, goodbye. Full integration, thank you, goodbye. We've already transferred it all to Northern Tunis. Money, aggressive expansion, uh, Castile don't care about, Ottomans don't care about, Aragon don't care about, Bosnia won't exist, Hungary doesn't matter. No one matters. Goodbye! You got a lot of corn to do, don't you? Why yes, yes you do. Get to work. Make points. Alright, these guys. Heavies can go back to Tunis. 35 transports is sufficient. Let's grab these guys over to... Let's see, if we end up at war with Moldavia to do the mission, we take that one province, it's only five developments, nice and cheap. We end up at war with Austria, Chernigov, and Nitra. We just were at war with Nitra. Austria's weak, Chernigov's weak. I think we just, um... Pop these troops right across the strait, right, right over here. Any other reason? Oh, you've just allied the Ottomans. What now? They're guaranteed by the Ottomans. Well. Looks like we're not doing that war then. We wait until... December of next year, and then a year after that to attack the Ottomans. So for now, we go down to no maintenance. And let's focus on raiding. We've got 62 ships in Genoa. I think what we'll do is we'll take both fleets. Just head up to here. We're gonna go top left to bottom right this time and see if that Maggie is easier for me to deal with. Corrupt officials has expired. Yay! Only 1% effective against Asturias if we do this. So we need to wait until May 30th. But you guys privateering right now in Sevilla. Wait till like May 30th. Privateer in Sevilla. <laughs> oh, 
Hopefully that counted. Nice, we actually found 73 ducats worth of that as well. Oh, and he stopped protecting. Cool. That's all of Sevilla except for these ones down here. We can be there before the end of June, so we'll be able to knock them both out. Okay, still we want to make a little bit of money here while we can, so let's privateer in Genoa for the end of this... Or, sorry, privateer in Sevilla. Click the right button. Privateer, Genoa. No, Sevilla. Alright, now head back. This is all Sunni. It's all our vassal. We gotta head straight up to the Gulf of Lyon. Or Lyon. So much money. Okay, uh, privateer. I mean, where you are right now, I think Venice makes the most sense, just for a second. And then we head all the way up to here. Check our force limit. We're at uh, 314 out of 365 boats. We have uh, re rebels that are about to fire the Adalan separatists down in Hargisa. No, no troops down there. Choose with Persia's in a year. Um, I've got three armies over here, which may be a bit excessive. In fact, I think we need another army. 500 and... no, 106 days. That's good. Let's do that. About four months. So if that army's gonna come down there, let's bring you down here to Hargisa. Keep that fort on. Turn these ones off. Back. You know what? Let's see the other way. Turn them all off. Turn that one back on. And comes at 42 ducats with no maintenance. It's okay. Could be better. And I lost track of my ships again, didn't I? You guys can go back to privateering all together then in Genoa. I don't think there's any Sunni provinces in here to hit, so I think we're done. Okay, um, beyond that then I'm going to take half of them and send them over to Sevilla. For the pirate fleet stuff. Actually, we'll take half again. So half of you guys will privateer in Sevilla. And then the other half will privateer in Bordeaux. We have 1,374 ducats, and we're not at max force limit, so let's build some ships first. Constantinople, trade power, 92%, that's too much. Let's grab half these ships, send them off to privateer in... I don't know, can we reach the uh, English Channel? Looks like no. Okay, go to uh, Genoa then. All those guys. Like part of my navy stopped protecting trade in uh, Alexandria. We still have seventy six percent control though, so we're probably okay. That'll be good enough. They'll get done eventually. 
Okay, we still have money, so shipyards. Just build up to the force limit till we have uh, no more left, and then we build shipyards until we have no more money, more money left, and then we build more boats until we have more money, <laughs> no more money left. It's a rinse and repeat, glorious uh, circle of spending. Almost have the sixth army formed. We could go much higher than that. Each stack's only 30, 40, 32, 42, 32. So we could have uh, 296 or whatever, 32. We could have nine stacks. Plus a little bit left over. Really wanted to go nuts. Okay, um, well these integrations are almost done, which is really cool. 10,888 days. That's a long time. July of 28, five per month now. We're spending all of our Dipple points, which means we're not going to get the next tech. And so the level one Dipple Rep guy. I would kind of would like to get the ne next thing. I think what we'll do is actually take like a level three guy. Can we hire a level three guy at, at lower price? Sadly, no. Not until 1730. Oh well, we're making money. Let's go ahead and hire the level three guy, trade efficiency guy. We're going to integrate a little bit slower now, which is actually kind of okay. Um, and that means that we're going to have 12 points a month, and we're only spending 8, so now we're getting 4 per month. And we should be able to knock out this other idea pretty soon. 340 minus the 248 we have, divided by 4 per tick. It's 23 months, so in 2 years we can take that tech, which will actually give us more Diplo Rep than what we had from the Diplomatic Reputation Advisor. Plus we're getting more points, but we're also spending more money. Might want some maintenance. We're so pious. Thirty percent morale should be sufficient, I hope. Oh, yeah. The six armies now online. Nice. Alright, so we've raided the coasts. We did it in, uh, I think it was, we'll call it January of 23. So I'm going to pop this down to the bottom again and we'll say January of 33 raid coasts. Back Persia, December 24. It's the end of this month, or end of this year. To attack Persia, Persia is another way that we can connect and start integrating Armenia. That gets us actually integrating them a little bit sooner than if we wait till the Ottomans, which is October of 25. Yeah, uh, I think we go back, we buy on the Papal States some more. We still have seven. They caught me a while ago, but um, I need the tech. We do need to take some tech soon. Alright, I'm going to take a break here. I'll be back though, same time in the next episode. Thanks for watching. See you soon.